Hi, my name is Brian and today I am shooting a video about both spray foam and my aquarium. Uh, for all of my uh, loyal fans who've subscribed, thank you. As of the shooting of this video, I have 3,200 subscribers and about 1.3 million lifetime views. That's awesome. Thank you for your support. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can keep track of these projects. Um, and also be sure to check out my playlist because I organize the videos related by subject into playlists. So I'm going to be installing a 350 gallon acrylic aquarium that I built. It'll go here in the wall. It'll be visible from this side, this side, and of course the other side. Um, and I'm insulating my house with spray foam as part of a deep energy retrofit of a remodel of a 1960s um, ranch inspired house. And one of the things that's important to me is I, I don't want I want to see my aquarium. I don't want to hear it. So all of my running gear is going to go under the aquarium in this installation. And so one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to silence it. And so I'm going to take advantage of open cell foam to, as a noise abatement or noise deadener. And I'm going to install it in these, in these uh, wall cavities knowing that my sump equipment is on the other side of it my living room, dining room are on this side of it. And so that's going to help deaden the noise that the aquarium generates. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to fill these cavities and I'm actually changing over from closed cell to open cell foam. So um, I've got a little bit of closed cell foam left on the line and it'll, it'll switch over to open cell during this video. I'm being lazy. Um, the, both the closed cell and open cell foam are compatible with the same isocyanate. So I'm gonna get some mixed density foam. It doesn't matter, it's in a wall. You know, the, the wall is waterproof. It is, uh, the, the aquarium side of this wall is a uh, hardy backer that has been painted with a, a single part epoxy paint and that makes it pretty much waterproof. So at any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get geared up. Um, when you're working with spray foam, it's really important that you wear proper personal protective equipment. Um, the chemicals uh, can mess you up. So I'm gonna be wearing a supplied air respirator, nitrile gloves, and a Tyvek suit. And that's so that I can keep the chemicals off my skin, not breathe them, and not get them in my eyes. We'll be right back. Okay, so um, I think my audio is gonna be okay on this video. And I'm wearing nitrile gloves, a supplied air respirator from Turbine Products, that's what the hose goes outside to, and a Tyvek suit, which is disposable, all of which is proper personal protection gear in order to apply spray foam. Now, I sort of look like an astronaut, but it's better to be safe and look funny than to be cool and get hurt. So, I'm gonna go ahead and purge my gun, and then I'm gonna start spraying. over to open cell and one of the ways you can tell it's open cell is you get this huge rise out of it really really fast.
complete it, it's all done.